Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Turtle Crest CC, designed by DW Golf Co. Now we'll have a quick look at the course defaults. We have normal fairways, normal greens. The green speed is medium fast. The weather is overcast and the time of day is dawn. So my course setup, uh, I'm gonna go off the black tees obviously because there is only one choice. And those are at 7,239 yards. I've gone for pin position one. The wind speed I've set to medium, but everything else is on the default. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, so we're going to start the round with a par five. Big sweeping fairway. It looks like the ball is going to gather down towards that bunker, so that bunker is going to be really, really difficult to avoid. Okay, let's see how we get on. Let's go with the driver. We're hitting into the wind as well, which doesn't help at all here. Well, that is almost certainly going to end up in the bunker. Let's see what happens. There it goes. Yeah, I don't think there's any way I could avoid that bunker. Possibly I could could have laid up short to it, maybe. What have we got here? Lie 78 8 to 85%. This is a tricky one. It's tricky to hit the fairway, but even if I hit the fairway. I may be blocked out by those two trees. Well, that's lucky. I can go between the two trees. That's great. 94 yards into the wind. I'll try my log wedge here. That looks... Quite a good distance. And I can get it over the tree as well. I used to bite hard. That's a great shot. Birdie to start the round. And a par for second. Bit of a dog leg right. Wind is helping. That's a good drive. And got 95 yards to go. You can see there it's quite a steep downhill slope once we get to the green. Three yards downhill, that's 92. All that wind is moving around. It's still moving around. Let's put some backspin on this one. I don't want this one to run too far. Pushed it a little bit right. Look at it go. Stop. Yeah, at least I'm putting back up the hill, I suppose. Left to right break on this one. Turn that much. 
Actually, to be fair, it might have done if I didn't hit it so hard. Big swing here. This is scary. This time back into the wind. Oh, I'm on quite a steep upslope here. Tricky pin position as well. 35 to go. Let's go with a pitching wedge. Wind off the left, ball a little bit below my feet. Oh, it's safely on the green, but it's not particularly close. Oh, quite a big breaking putt as well. Wow. Put the flag back in, give me an idea where the hole is. Slow down. Oh, I've hit that far too hard again. Struggling with these greens at the moment. Tough one for par. Yeah, well done. Three here at the fourth. Into the wind. Go with the six iron. That feels about right with that wind. It's a good swing. Come on, be good. Be good. Yeah, great shot. These are scary greens. Every putt is a bit nerve-wracking. <laughs> and par for fifth. Narrow fairway. Water hazard on the left. It's horrible rough on the right as well. This needs to be a good swing. The wind is moving around. Oh, it's drifting left. I think the wind has moved around so much. Oh, I'm in massive trouble now. Massive trouble. I'm not even sure I can get that on the green from there. How am I going to avoid that tree? 25 feet uphill, that's about, about 8 yards roughly, that's 88 yards out of heavy rough with a, with a tree in front. Now what I might do here, I don't want to make a bad situation even worse, I might try and just chip this one back out onto the fairway. the seven eye just get it back out on the fairway and then try and save par this is pretty risky Let, let's see how we get on okay well I'm back out on the fairway I've got 55 yards 
uphill. Is that on about six yards? That's 61 into that wind as well. Well, take a look at that bunker there. Look, you've got that rock formation overhanging the bunker. If you ended up in there, you would have absolutely no shot. You'd have to play out sideways or backwards, probably sideways to get it back out on the short stuff. That's it, looks really pretty, but I would not want to end up in that bunker. Now, then, back to the job at hand. I've got to try and somehow save my par here. So 61 into the wind. Let's try that. I'm not, I, I'm not going to put any backspin on this because of, of the amount of loft I put on it. Oh, spin! Oh my goodness, nearly hold it for birdie! That's a great par save after where that drive ended up. Nearly got my birdie as well. And another difficult driving hole here at the sixth. It's a par five. It's a good swing. Deserves a good result that one. a big slope. Oh my goodness me, it's a huge slope. Okay, well I'm on the fairway but I've got a rock right in front of me. And I've got 222 yards to go uphill. It's going to have to be the three iron there. Three wood is far too much. I'd end up in the toilets. <laughs> now then, the wind is helping me here which is good. But what I'm going to do because I need to get the ball up quick. I've got the rock right in front of me and I'm on a, a steep upslope. If I change the camera angle, you'll probably see that a bit better there. So I'm going to increase the loft to get this ball up. Oh, that wind is moving. I need to hit this really well. It's a good swing. It should be on the green, but not particularly close. Outside chance of an eagle here, but um, I'd be more than happy with two putts. Another big swinging putt, big break left to right. Foot uphill as well. Slow down. Oh, what a putt! What a putt! That's a great eagle. I'm glad it caught the hole as well because I think that could have gone several feet past. Now then, we have a par three here at the seventh. 173 yards, 45 feet downhill. So that's 15 yards. It's about 158 into the wind. Tempted to try an eight iron here. Although I am literally right into the teeth of that wind, and that is approximately eight or nine miles per hour. So 158. Once, yeah, I'm wondering, I might go with a seven iron here. So maybe just increase the loft just a little bit. that to get down that's far too long oh that is it going to stay on the green no oh that took a nasty bounce tricky little bunker shot here 69 to 76 percent lies it's not lying very well at all I'll do well to get down in two from here i think Yeah, 
that's not going to stop, I don't think. It's just rolled onto the fringe. I'll put that one, though. Great putt, blimey, just managed to hold on to my par there, tricky little par 3 down the hill that one, now 8th hole, another dog leg to the left, another steep sloping fairway and as you can see the camver is running away from us here. into the wind as well. This is going to be difficult to hit the fairway, I think. Will it carry the bunker? I think it will. Now, what sort of a bounce are we going to get? Ooh, it's gone to the right. Stayed on the green. Uh, sorry, on the fairway, though, so that's good. Downhills. It's playing about 118. A bit of a down slope. I might, might try the, uh, the sand wedge here. Maybe take a bit of loft off. Wind off the right as well. Pretty good. Yeah, good shot. Let's hope there's not too much break on that putt. Caddy seems confident. It's always a good sign. <laughs> now, five feet. So a little bit of left to right on this one. Not too much. out the front line for the par four Need to avoid that lighthouse downwind which is useful that's a great drive straight down the middle Twenty-four yards to go. Okay, uh, don't really want to play a pitch if I can help it. Uh, a couple of yards. That's one, two, two. I'm not going to reach with a sand wedge. Not quite. So I'm going to go with a gap wedge. But I'm going to increase the loft quite a bit. I think. Let's try that. to get down. Bite. Bite really hard. Good break here. Tricky putt this one. a shame. And we we'll start the back line with a dog leg par four, 373. Oh, there's definitely no shortcut. Got to miss that tree there. Wind is off right hand side, which is a bit of a shame. So 60 feet down here. I'm going to I'm going to hit a big cut shot here. Cut it back into that wind, although the wind is moving. Is 
Is that going to cut enough? I think it is. Oh, stop. Oh, good shape. 106 yards to go. Sound wedge. Oh, big bounce. I put too much loft on it. And that to me looks dead straight. Slightly downhill. Eleventh hole, 185. Certainly don't want to go over the back of this green. Into the breeze as well. I think I might stick with the six iron here though. It's a good swing. Come on, be good. Slow down. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, great birdie too. Par five now on the twelfth hole. 560 yards, slightly downhill. Just admiring the view around the course. Good drive. 222 left, similar to uh, an earlier hole that I played, the par 5. Downwind, slightly uphill. Should in theory be a comfortable 3-iron. No need to force this one. Oh, hit it a bit fast. just onto the back fringe. I've got a choice here. I can putt this or chip it. I'm tempted to putt this one. There's not too much movement in it. This is for eagle, but I'd be more than happy with two putts. Last time I said that, I hold it. <laughs> Oh wow, I've held it again. Another great eagle. Now we've got a risk reward hole here, par four, 289 yards, 15 yards downhill. So that's uh, 274. I'm not sure I can quite make it with the three wood, although the wind is slightly helping. Those bunkers aren't... Well, it depends on the lie you end up with. They don't look too bad. I think a driver would... Yeah, a driver potentially is too much. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm going to hit my three wood. And just accept the fact that I'm going to end up in one of those bunkers. And just hope that I get a good lie. I've hit it slightly slow, but I gave it 104%, and it's working out really, really well. 
Oh, stop now. That's going to run quite a long way, I think. Oh, it's coming back down the slope. That's a great tee shot. Now, this is downhill. These were medium fast greens, if I remember rightly. So. Let's try. Let's try there. Two putts here would be amazing. Come on, don't fail me now. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. It's a good birdie, though. Giving it that extra 4% power made all the difference. Oh dear, that's a bit fast. It's okay though. 179, slightly downhill. Bit of hurt in the wind as well. What have we got in front of the green? There is a slope there in front of the green. So we'll go with the 7 iron. With the right bounce, this could be very close. Go on, baby. Go on. Go on. That's a great shot. And 15th hole, 472. Quite a big drop downhill here. See the slope on the fairway. If we hit it down that right hand side it will run back towards the middle of the fairway it's gone down the middle anyway I think but that should be absolutely fine kick left a bit stay away from that bunker and what we've got left 107 yards Downwind, but it's only about a seven mile an hour wind. If you look on the green, it's, it's slightly downhill there. But the other option is I go with a sand wedge and increase the loft, and that's my preferred option, I think, here. it down, bite hard, really hard. It's a super putt. These are some tricky greens. They've got some, some subtle breaks and some quite big breaks as well. And par 3, 16th hole, 218 yards, slightly downhill. I'm tempted to go with a 4 iron here, to be honest. Pulled it. That's a shame. Get down. Ah, damn it. 102% as well. Okay, it's on the green. Not too far away either. 11 feet. A couple of inches downhill.
That's another good putt. Got my eye in at the moment with the putter. I wonder if it will last the next two holes. Now the penultimate hole, par four, 384. Hitting into a very narrow part of the fairway. Slightly downhill. The breeze is off the left hand side. Tricky. I don't want to lay up, but this is tricky. Now that's drifting right, so it depends on the bounce. It's going to go in the rough. Okay, it's not too bad. I've only got 50 yards to go. That's a shame. I wish I didn't put the backspin on it now. That stopped really quick coming out the heavy rough. I've done it in a long time on this back nine. And that one to the final hole. Par five. 514 yards. Really nice looking hole. Just 198 yards to go. Five iron is looking good here. Wind off the right. Oh, I've given it 102%. That's a shame. It's gone left as well. Could do without landing soft. It landed pretty soft, to be fair. Got this putt for an eagle. This would be my third one of the round if I could hold it. A couple of inches downhill. Hold your line, hold your line. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's such a shame. It would have been lovely to have seen that one drop. Well, I got the birdie, but it really would have been nice to finish with an eagle. Well, that was a, a very challenging, but at the same time, fun course to play. It was difficult. Some of the greens were really tricky. Um, but it was nicely laid out. Um, I like the plantation. Um, nothing too over the top. It wasn't too extravagant. It was just a, a really nice course. But it, but it, like I say, a tricky one. I wouldn't like to play that one in high or very high winds. It would be very hard indeed. But no, many congratulations to DW Golf Co. And the course is called Turtle Crest CC. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Well, take care, everyone. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.